the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports recently hosted a homecoming ceremony for the St. Lucian Spring Champion Julian Alfred at the VIP lounge of the Urinara International Airport. The 21-year-old track athlete, who is a senior at the University of Texas, is the NCAA champion of the 100m, the 4x100m relay and the current record holder of the indoor 60m dash. Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Honorable Gibeon Ferdinand, expressed his appreciation for Julian's achievement on behalf of the Government of St. Lucia and Honorable Kenson Kazemi, Minister for Youth Development and Sports, who was out of state on official government business. Julian, I want to personally congratulate you. I want to give you the assurance that our government will remain committed to giving you the support you deserve. Um, not just you want, but you deserve as a young St. Lucian and doing well and in, on the international stage and continuing to make us proud. From a tourism standpoint, we understand the importance of sports tourism at this point, and we know the value, especially in a post-COVID pandemic, what it can do for our country, for our econ economy, and for the rest of our budding athletes. Director of Sports Jim Zavi highlighted how the support for Julian is needed to get her to the next level. As I said earlier on, Ms. Alfred is on a pathway to international glory, and the free agencies the Athletics Association, the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, the family and the Olympic Committee as well. We've worked together to provide that support that is needed so that the athlete could bring international glory to the country. Julian's coach in her teen years, Kovbat Twatide Modest, said he never gave up on Julian, even when she told him at a young age she had lost faith in her track career. Never tell me that again! Never! You, you have faith in me? She said, yes. You believe in me? Yes. So you let get on. All right? And I start training her. We keep on going. We keep on going. And when I saw she run against Asa and Roseanne at the George Odlam Stadium, I told her that we are ready. We're going to get a medal. And so said so the Youth Olympics. So I never give up on her, okay? In an interview, Julian recalled her journey and the challenges she faced to get to this point in her career. My journey per se has been, up. there have been highs and lows from injuries to making the sacrifice at an early age to go to Jamaica and live by myself. And I mean, even in the NCAA, NCAA sorry, Division 1 season, my past four seasons, I've been you know, injured a few times and it's hindered me from performing at this high level. And this year, I think I went out there with a great mindset, you know, just giving my all and making sure I still have, stay healthy, sorry, throughout it all. And, you know, just putting hard work throughout it. The Ministry of Youth Development and Sport says it is committed to the advancement of Julian Alfred and all other athletes who have shown potential under the agency's Elite and Emerging Athlete Program. Marvin St. Louis reporting from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports.